fishing on the Bay de Saint Anne. Tending to use the fish traps there, presumably to catch net again. I saw them lifting them earlier in the day. Village High Street, Bay de Saint Anne. And the morning chat meeting outside the village shop. Quite a typical house onto the road to the Valley de Mer, where I'll be seeing the Coca de Mer. It's very typical of what the ordinary house is around in these areas. The entrance into the National Park and the Valley de Mer. Some of the characteristic endemic palms. These broad leafed ones seem to be quite a feature of this environment. It could almost be Australian rainforest. This is in Pralin in the Valley de May. Valley de May palms are enormous, particularly the Coca de May palm. And this is the habitat of the blue pigeon. of the palms and interestingly what looks like a tree termite nest down at ground level. Just a solid canopy of palm leaves. Really is eerie and quite astonishing. And that appears to be a tree termite nest, but it's at the ground level. Interesting. Coca de Mer. These are the big nuts that such a fuss is made about. Just disappeared one Filsuma. I feel it often sends the infrared from the focusing because they jump as soon as you put the lens on them. This doesn't feature in the in part of the talks, but I think it must be a fork fern. It is really rather nice. Ferns just alongside the fork fern. The leaf litter, or rather interesting little bit of it. The leaves themselves, there's masses and masses. I just see that the tenorac's been introduced so goodness knows what they wanted that for in their country. As palm nuts go, they are the magnificent. That tree must be carrying a huge weight of fruit. As palm nuts go, these are magnificent. And just think of the weight of fruit that tree's carrying up there. I wouldn't like it to drop on me.
the micro life is as wonderful as the macro. One of the other farm nuts was quite intriguing, almost as intriguing as a coconut merely. And that is the palm. Don't they grow tall? Just look at this canopy. The solidness of it. Really quite incredible. Keep looking at the moss banks to get myself back into perspective after seeing the big palms. Filmy ferns sitting there quietly. The pod, the hairy seed of the pod, looks quite cheeky just sitting out there like that. Most unusual. I think this hairy palm nut is almost as interesting as the coca de mer, really. It's so strange the way it sticks out. There is the droopy male. Jackfruit growing on the tree. Pandanus horn ae, the vacua or parasol, screw pine. Must be one of the tallest pandanus species around. It was right up to the canopy.
blue pigeon, I think. and Pandanus land. And three species of Pandanus and five species of palm are in this area. There are only six species of palm in the whole of the Granitic Islands of the Seychelles and four species of pandanus. As they say, this is what the world would have looked like before the advent of flowering trees, flowering plants, and mammals. Pandanus world. Still with the five species out of six of palms in this area, and three species out of four of pandanus. That's in the granitic islands of the Seychelles. So constant weeding is necessary to in fact remove, introduce material. It's really a great shame how much introduced material gets done. But it looks as though they pile it on these trestles for it to decompose and keep it off the ground and out of the way. Climbing palm or whatever is clearly not wanted. The effect of fruit bat feeding on palm nuts.